assignment. There's a handout on the on the site, and it's called uh, it's in homework handouts, and I think it's at the bottom of the page. And it's called simple cube-like objects, and it looks like this. Now, what these are? These are all orthographics, okay? And we're going to do a little bit of practicing sketching ortho orthographically. And let me show you how it works. So this, this one I'm going to be sketching, is this one here, OK? So oh, and you guys notice that some of these are divided into thirds. Some of these are divided into half. You know, I want you to pay attention to that when you do the homework assignment. And I'll show you this uh, momentarily. But anyway, so that's what the sheet looks like. And now let me switch over to the down shooter. And I'm going to show you the orthographic one real quick and finish this thought before we go on. So your homework assignment is just to solve all of those. You know, there's 20 objects. You don't, you're not going to turn it into me, okay? Um, you're just solving them because your next assignment, you're going to have to do something with them. But I want to make sure everyone solves the problem correctly or solves the puzzle correctly before they go forward. So let me, there's something weird that happened with this where it didn't, it's not the right uh, aspect ratio anymore. I don't know why that is. Okay. Um, I think it's a, it's a setting on the side of this thing, I think. Uh, Jeff and I are trying to figure it out. I'll figure it out maybe at lunchtime. Um, so just to recreate the orthographic that was there. So basically it looks like that. Now, the way to read these is like this. This is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the side view. Okay? So you'll solve these things, and you could do this exactly the same way I'm doing it. I might start with, i make sure I stay on the page here. I think I will be, but just in case. So I'll sketch out a basic cube. Uh, I'll sketch out a basic cube. And then I'm going to look at my drawing. And I might do it like this. You, I, you don't have to do this. I'm doing this for you guys so you understand what I'm doing. this for a second. Um, oh, you know what? Shoot. I'm doing this in the wrong. Okay, trust me on this right now, and I'll show you how, how I'm doing this later. This is because I'm doing this slightly in the wrong order, I just realized. So I find the halfway point, and I'll talk about how we're going to do that in a second. I bisect the square to find the halfway mark. If I extend a vertical, I find halfway on this side. If I extend a line to the VP, I find a halfway mark on this side. And if you take a look, there's this point and this point. And they're on the side. So I find those two, and then I essentially draw this picture on this face of the cube. You see what I mean? 
So I do that much. Now, if I'm gonna draw this on this side of the cube, here's a quick trick for dividing diagonals. If I take this vertical and I estimate it into three steps like that, okay, I divide it up into three equal segments. I draw a diagonal. And then I can go like this. And divide it up and the thirds the other way. We'll go over this again. Don't worry if you're getting a little lost. Uh, that's my fault because I did it in the wrong order. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this picture onto the front side. You guys see that? Now if I do the same thing on the top, and I can draw the top just using the stuff I've already done. Go, go to the vanishing points, go across. And now when I finish this up, this is what it starts looking like. And then based on the information that you have, you finish it off. And you have a little 3D guy. Cool. Okay. Now, this happens every semester. Some people are looking and thinking, oh god, those things look confusing. It's totally stupid and nerdy, but you guys are gonna actually if you respond in a nerdy way to this you're in the right class. Because what you're gonna find is you're gonna have more fun solving these things. It's gonna be like, oh, how did you, did you get a number one? Yeah, no, you know? <laughs> you guys are gonna to get told, I mean, Eureka saw this and went, oh, I love this assignment. <laughs> you know, because it's actually just a lot of fun. You're basically playing and finding out which shape you get. And it's actually a skill that you need to practice. You need to practice learning how to see things in 3D from a 2D plane, yeah. Uh. I just don't understand why you cut the front end into thirds. Because um, isn't that a half? Like uh, this, this is cut into thirds. Oh, is it? Yeah. It looks like it's almost half. No. Oh, the okay. I, never mind. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I got it's it. Slightly off topic, but a teacher once gave me a test that had those orthographic views, and you had to pick the answer that was the three-dimensional object. Actually, my dentist, of all people, last week was telling me that they had a test like this in dental school because they need to be able to envision things in three dimensions as they're working on them. And so they give, like, if they're at the end of their, uh, I guess it was the entrance exam, they would give people, like, five top, they give them the plans and then show five possible things it could be and you had to figure out which one was the right one, you know, or like they would show it from the wrong angle and say, is this the same plan? And he said it was really, he said it beat some people up, but it was, yeah, yeah. And usually wouldn't the, the side view also include the, the part in the middle that goes up? Like usually you'd have the side and then a line that would that. Oh, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Otherwise we don't know that there's a diagonal on that back side. Uh, well, Here's what you could, well, you actually you do because there's nothing else there. Because if there was something else there, you would see this. You see what I mean? But we don't have anything going up and over to cover it like you would see right here. To the side. Well, if you look at from the side, you see that, that shape, but you would also. Oh, see wait, I'm sorry. Side. I'm sorry, you guys. I drew this wrong. I drew this wrong. It should have looked like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was my screw. It's, I think it's correct in the diagram. Uh, I, I was just, I was messing with it. Um, you are correct. The, um, one of the other things that I need to point out, if something is there, like if you see something like this, let me, uh, 
Um, let's say you see something, something like this. Like a dotted line going like that, and maybe a dotted line uh, going like this, and a dotted line going like this. What that would mean is there's a thing back here that we can't see from that view. You see what I mean? So some of these things will have hidden elements, or you'll see something like this. And that basically means you have a cylinder, or a, or a block, I'm sorry, not a cylinder. You have a block, and it maybe has a hole in it like this that you can't see from this side. But it, you can, but it goes through the middle of it or something like that. So hidden things will be have a dashed line, okay? And I can tell you, like the one that will drag. Oh, so your homework assignment is to solve these. This is the one time that I'm going to tell you: don't immediately work with your teammates. Try to solve them yourself. There's going to be certain ones, like 11, is going to drive many of you nuts. You're going to think, this is impossible. There's got to be something wrong with this. No, it's not wrong. It, you know, and there is a solution, and you're not going to see it for the longest time. And I want you to just beat your head against the table for a few hours be before you call a teammate. Like, call a teammate if you just, like, you've worked on it for an hour and you can't figure it out, okay? Then talk to a teammate. And teammate, if someone comes to you like that and they don't quite see it, don't tell them how to do it or show them your answer. Give them a clue. You know, I want you guys to go through that process of wrapping your head around it. Yeah. Where would you like us to do these? On? You could do them on scraps of paper. I really don't. What all that matters is that you could do all of them on one sheet of paper if you want. Well, all that matters is that you guys be able to come in next class, be able to show them to each other, and make sure that everybody has like, answers that are in agreement. You know. That's what we're going to do with it. So it's not really even going to be a big deal. You're not even going to turn it into the TAs. Okay? But you're, you have future assignments that are going to, that are going to deal with this. So, yeah? Uh, we will always assume that the sides are on the side of the front and the back one is just... Right. Nothing. Yeah, well, it'll be obvious once you start working with them. There's a, there's a few that are a little bit tricky, but most of them will make perfect sense to you. Uh, they just You just need to walk through them kind of. All right, that makes sense to everybody. Yeah. Does it depend on like how you start drawing the cube? Like, a little bit. Start? Like like some of you guys will draw it this way. Some of you guys will draw it and will be rotated the other way. You know. So, but as long as it's the same object and you're understanding it correctly, that's what matters. Yeah. Elizabeth. I had a question uh, about so what you did was you found the halfway point on the side I'm gonna. I'm about to show you how to do that. I did them in the wrong order. My notes are in the wrong order. I was uh, when you did it like um, horizontally for the front. You did at the halfway point, not the third. Uh, because I didn't need any on this one. I didn't need any third points because this one goes to the halfway points. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me show you guys some additional wonderful, cool tools for sketching now let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so for any of you guys that are nerds. Oh by the way you guys just so you know I love nerds. I'm a nerd. Um, I have a theory that we are all nerds. It's just a question of what we are nerdy about. <laughs> and here, here's how I define here's how I define a nerd. You are a nerd about a subject if your fascination or interest in that subject has a negative effect on your social skills. <laughs> you know, so like I am an art nerd. If someone says something casual to me about art, I can't let it go. I have to like expand upon it even beyond their point of boredom. Um, 
My brother's that way about computers, so he's a nerd. I'm that way about art, so I'm an artist. I'm sure Eddie Van Halen is that way about guitars, you know, and things like that. I'm sure De Niro is that way about acting, you know. So just find something that you're that nerdy about. So, um, they are magic, though. 